I got my shit eating grin on. You know what that means. Pew, 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 pew. This is where I put an intro. If I had one. That's right. More blind fan fiction readings, and it actually has an intro now. Woo! So yeah, I got us uh, some interesting selections this time around. We've got one. We actually have two separate um um um. We got different. We actually got different um source material for this. One of them is a South Park fan fiction. I'm amazed at how much South Park fan fiction that is. It's like it's got anime levels of fan fiction. I mean, that's kind of incredible, but, um, we got one South Park today, and one Blue's Clues today. That's right, Blue's Clues. It actually has a pretty decent amount of stuff in it, but, um, both of these are rated M. And we're gonna see how they turn out! So let's just start with the Blue's Clues one, because it's shorter. It also has seven reviews. It's been up since... How many fucking chapters are there? God damn it, there's three chapters. I gotta do this bullshit. Kevin Goes Mental. Kevin loses it, BC, blue is a cunt, colon, forward slash. Yeah, so let's do it. Blue woke with a start. Fucking Kevin singing into his mailbox again. You are a fucking retard, Kevin. Wash your jumper, you stinky git. <laughs> Kevin ran off crying. Fucked hard, scream blue. I haven't watched Blue's Clues for a few years now. I don't know if it's still running, but um, last time that I checked, um... I don't know if it was just me when I watched Blue's Clues, but Blue doesn't talk. Blue goes... Bow, 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 bow. That's Blue's words. I don't know who the fuck Kevin is, either. I'm thinking of, um... Kevin Harvick right now, but, um... Alright. Kevin had had enough. I'm fed of being... I'm fed up of being bullied from a large... Can I speak, please? I'm fed up of being bullied by a dog. I'll make him pay. He'll never bully me again. Paprika the condiment came hopping into the room. Kevin, are you okay? Kevin lost it. Fuck you, Paprika. He grabbed her and shook the contents all over the floor. No, not Paprika. I have, like, a close connection to Blue's Clues characters. I mean, I was there through the whole series. I, w I was there before Paprika was. I saw Paprika be born, man. I have that kind of connection with this shit. Okay, whatever. Um. <laughs> oh my fucking god, Kevin. Stop. Holy shit, that's my brain. Shut the fuck up, bitch. He flung her across the room and her glass container smashed into pieces. He picked up one of those jagged shards. <gasps> Oi, Blue, come in here. Okay, apparently Kevin's from the fucking down south. He's from Australia. He's got that Aussie blood in him. Blue sauntered into the room. Yeah, I'm totally not using a thesaurus. Smoking a blunt. What the fuck? Blue smoking a doobie. Fuck you what, retard? Kevin lunged at Blue. He jammed the glass into his eye. Um, blue is female, so I can only assume he chatted into his own eye. Die, you ratchet cunt! Holy shit, Kevin screamed the mailbox. <laughs> Shut it, cunt! Yo, next! Blue flopped to the floor, dead of blood loss. What the fuck? We're only five minutes in, we're going to write to chapter two, bitches. Chapter two. Mailbox hopped as fast as he could. Mailbox is stuck to the ground! He can't get out from the ground, he's stuck on a post that's buried deep in the ground. He has to extend his old, like, like, um, oh, what the fuck is that called? Like the, like the baby fence from Rugrats, you know, how it connects his head to the post? Yeah. Yeah. OMFG, help. Mr. Salt fell off the table and smashed. WTF, screamed mailbox. Kevin charged through the front door. I'm going to turn you into firewood, you little shit. I know you ate my Amazon order, you greedy fucking tit sucking hoe. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm having fun with this one. Mailbox started crying. Kevin, calm down, mate. Kevin grabbed Mailbox and ran into the garden. Mate, Kevin, mate, come on, let us be, yeah? I didn't eat no Amazon parcel. Shut the fuck up, Mailbox. Kevin threw open the shed door. 
Mailbox sobbed as Kevin brought a chainsaw out. What the fuck? Goodbye, Mailbox. OMG, no! Chainsaw lashed at mailbox. Splinters and shredded paper flew everywhere. Don't fucking mess with Kevin. Back in the kitchen, Mrs. Pepper dialed 911. Help us! Kevin is on a rampage! He's killed the dog, he's killed my daughter Paprika, and he's killed the mailbox! Help us! The operator sighed. Are you on drugs, ma'am? No! What the hell? The police are in on it too! Shit! No, I'm not. Hello, hello! A shadow loomed over Mrs. Pepper. I pulled out the telephone cable, whispered Kevin. Please don't hurt me, cried Mrs. Pepper. Kevin sighed. Mrs. Pepper shook. Pepper sprinkled out. Kevin sneezed. He looked menacingly at Mrs. Pepper. Oh, shit. How much time have I spent on this one so far? Jesus Christ, what the fuck is happening? When was this last updated? May 9th, 2013? Well, I guess it's done after this, so... Kevin reached into his pocket. He produced a tube of super glue. Kevin, what are you doing? Squealed Mrs. Pepper. Kevin Grimm. Lol, I don't know. What? <laughs> he slowly unscrewed the cap of the glue. Then he grabbed Mrs. Pepper and proceeded to glue her holes one by one. Mrs. Pepper screamed. I, Kevin, I need those to breathe. What? What? They have faces and mouths. Is she like a dolphin? Is Pepper Shakers and dolphins on the same level? Mrs. Pepper screamed, Kevin, I need those to breathe. Do you need them to scream? Kevin closed the last hole. Mrs. Pepper made no sound. Guess you do. Mrs. Pepper watched helplessly as Kevin left her to suffocate. Orange Kitten and Green Puppy were doing the nasty. What the fuck? When they heard Mrs. Pepper's blood-curdling scream. But they can't. Because she's got her holes covered in glue, apparently. Mrs. Pepper was usually a delusional whore, so they both ignored her and carried on making weird dog-cat hybrid. What is happening in this story? I feel like there's resentment in this, but damn. This is fucking crazy. This is the weirdest... This is one of the strangest things that I've read in a long time. And believe me, I've been on the deep web. Kevin watched from the corner. It was no secret he had a freaky animal mating fetish. Green Puppy knew he was there. Green Puppy didn't cur. YOLO. Fuck this story. Orange Kitten was a slut. She visited her ten boyfriends daily. Kevin hated sluts. Kevin would kill her. He crept towards them. He lost his balance, fucking shoelaces, and fell onto tickety top. Hello, Kevin. What time is it then? Haven't you learned to read the time yet, you dumb faggot? It's murder o'clock, and Kevin smashed tickety top to smithereens. Damn. Oh. Uh. Orange Kitten licked her vagina. Why do cats do that? Why? It's just weird. Wash it with water. Stop licking yourself out. <laughs> Kevin grabbed her by the tail and swung her around his head. He let go and she smashed into the wall. Her brains leaked onto the carpet. What? I thought they were outside. How are they leaking onto the carpet? Is this some sort of weird ass inverted reality where there's carpet outside and grass indoors? Kevin picked up her body and stuffed it inside the side table drawer. Ah, yes, perfect. Green Puppy was nowhere to be seen. Kevin walked to the bathroom to clean range kitten's blood from his hands. Yo, what the fuck is on your hands, Kevin? I ain't cleaning that. You'll do what you're told, Slippery Soap. No, YOLO, that's right, and Kevin snapped him in two. He dropped each half to the toilet and flushed by slope. Exhausted, Kevin went to bed, plotting tomorrow's murders as he drifted off to sleep. Unfortunately, those murders would never come because the story was never finished. I think we, as a fanfiction reading community, are obligated to finish this story for this guy. Because we have a development going on. There are still a lot of characters that need to fucking die. Uh, where's Magenta? Um, where's the Blue Skidoo? Where they go in into storybooks and murder Goldilocks and all that bullshit. But, you know... I had fun with that one, but I have a feeling this one I won't have as much fun in because it's Kenny's World the series and there's only one part. So, let me let me know how that series thing worked out for you.
This is a Sonic and South Park crossover. We're getting the best of both worlds out of this one. Siran and Jaden accidentally teleport themselves to a new world where they meet their new friends. They wind up forgetting about the real world. Rated M for very strong language, violence, sexual references, and death. Most of the content will come later. Later. More like eventually, because it's been over a year since this was updated, so. I don't know how to say that, so I'm just going to call her Cialis. So Cialis is a 14-year-old transsexual unknown species that looks like a human from an unknown planet. Is this South Park or fucking Skyrim? He slash she suffers from depression, has no parents, and has only one friend, Jaden Smith. He is a young human who is also 14 years old and suffers depression. The two were walking to Cialis' home to play Minecraft on their computers at night. Alright, so we're trying to get a really big dramatic feel at the opening of this. Let me tell you how to open up a drama. Right before the end of the story, whoever's the main character lying on the floor in a pool of their own blood. That's how you open up a drama. September 24th, 1996. 1240... Wait, what? September 24th, 1996... And they went to play Minecraft? Fucking time travelers. Jaden! Said Cialis. What? Said Jaden. I'll get us cunt some water and some chocolate, okay? Why? Fuck yeah, said Jaden. Cialis went downstairs and he opened the fridge. Okay, so I guess we've decided that Cialis is a male. Oh, wait, hold on. An unknown force pulled him slash her in. Alright, so I guess the jury went back out. They just, I guess they thought that they had figured out the case. They just went in to ask a question to the judge and they went right back to deliberating. So, um, false alarm on the gender part here. Jaden heard and saw what was going on and tried to save his friend, but he was also pulled in. Holy fucking shit, said Cialis. Oh, fuck, said Jaden as they both were pulled in. They then teleported to another world. And question mark o'clock, unknown time, but it is nighttime. Cialis and Jaden fell from the sky, presumably to their deaths. Well, at least we know why this didn't finish. Jaden said Cialis, what? You just repeated the opening lines again. Why? This might be the last time we see each other, but I'd like to tell you. It's kind of fucking worth it, you know? Yeah, sure is, Cialis. Well, see ya, Jaden. Fuck yeah. They fell and hit the ground with a smack. Everything turned to pitch black for the two friends. I don't even fucking know why I'm bothering paying attention to this shit. September 24th. 3,996. So this is like Futurama, basically. 18.43 p.m. on a clock. Okay, so I guess um, three millenniums from now, we are judging time by military instead of a.m. and p.m. Wait a minute. 18.43 p.m. What is time? Cialis and Jaden woke up. They... Both suffered extreme injuries and were lucky to be alive. Yeah, it took them a thousand years to recover, but... You know, they made it. Oh my fucking god, my head, groaned Cialis. Are we in fucking heaven or something? Groaned Jaden. Is this... Must every line have fucking in it? I mean, if you're trying to get your point across, then sure, drop a couple F-bombs. But... Is it really needed for every other sentence? I mean, it stops being edgy and more fucking annoying than anything. I should know. I'll be like, oh my fucking god, I hate this fucking game so fucking much. Fuck this fucking game. And then I'll be sitting there watching the part like, oh my god, you fucking dumb piece of fucking shit. Don't say fuck all the fucking time. It isn't fucking funny and you're just sounding like a fucking idiot. You fucking fuck. Fuck. I don't really fucking know. Well, at least we're alive. Um, Jaden? Yeah? Who saved us from then? Um, I don't know, gulped Jaden. Suddenly they heard footsteps. Don't worry, Jaden. It might be some of the doctors or some shit. 
Yeah, probably. They saw the door open up. Inside came a yellow rabbit with pink bunny slippers. That's like a dog wearing a fur coat. Or a pig eating bacon. What the fuck? Some kid with an orange parka hood and orange jacket. A mushroom guy with a white nappy and a blue shirt. A red echidna with red, green, and yellow shoes. A peachy colored rabbit with an orange dress and shoes. And a yellow fox with two tails and red and white shoes. Yeah, they finally decided to put in some detail. See, Alice and Jaden started stared in horror at the creatures, not able to say a word. Hello, and welcome to my workshop, the young fox said. My name is Tails. Learn to quotation marks! Nice to meet you. My name is Kenny. Kenny McCormick, muck, pulled the orange parka kid. What's up, dudes? My name is Cuddles, said the yellow rabbit. Oh my god! Happy Tree Friends crossover! Man, I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't know where I'd be able to find Happy Tree Friends in here. Would it be under cartoons, or would it be under... There should be a separate internet tab to fanfiction.net. And apparently it's a surfer. Yo, what up, dudes? My name is Coles. We're gonna go get some waves, brah. Hey, you two. We're glad you're both alive, said the echidna. Hello, nice to meet you. You both look very lovely. My name is Cream, said the peachy-colored rabbit. Yo, guys, my name is Toad. I'm sure you'll be okay, said the mushroom. See, Alice and Jaden then stared a pink hedgehog coming in. She had a red hairband and description, description, Amy. The hedgehog then saw C. Alice and Jaden. Hello, said Amy. Jaden started to have a seizure somehow and was worried of what he had seen. I'm happy that you're okay. My name is Amy. Amy Rose, said the hedgehog with a smile. Finally, C. Alice was able to speak, trying not to be scared of the people. Wh where the fuck are we and what is the date? You're on Mobius and the date is September 24th, 3996, said Amy cheerfully. No! No! <laughs> Screamed Jaden and C. Alice as they both tried to suffocate themselves with the covers of the bed. Suicide is not a viable option in 20 in 3996. After 20 minutes, they then stopped. Yes, they have lungs of steel. They can suffocate themselves for 20 minutes and not even give a shit. Hi, said Jaden worryingly. Yeah, um, what's up with your really random p p p p people? Stuttered Cialis. How did me and Cialis get here? We both found you two on the ground. You seem to have fractured your skulls and most of your body got caught apart, said Tails. Um, okay, let's hope that this is a fucking dream, said Jaden. And so, the story ended and was never heard from again. I am curious, there is no reviews for this one, but there are reviews for Kevin Goes Mental. I feel like this has been 20 minutes. Yes, it has been 20 minutes. Shit. I'm gonna have to shorten this up or I'm gonna have to have an ad in the middle of this video. Kevin Goes Mental. Lol, I laughed my ass up. This. Do you know what this is? Gold. That's so horrible, but it's so funny. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh my god, I can't stop laughing. Oh my god, guy actually named Kevin commented on there. Man, that's some crazy shit. Anyway, yes. So, that was two more fan fictions. I can honestly say this has been two of the craziest um, fan fictions that I've read for this series. And I've read a few fan fictions for this series. So, um, but I said I was going to take a break from Sonic the Hedgehog. I will be for this next one. I did the Grand Theft Auto ones. We're going to probably have to do like Sonic... And then something else, and then Sonic, and then something else. Because there's simply too many good Sonic ones. To, there's just too many. Too many good ones to pass up on. So, um, the next ones you will see will not be Sonic related. So, yeah, you have that to look forward to. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching some more Blind Fact Fiction Fan Fiction reading. And next time, I will be showing off my fan fiction! Yeah! Actually, I won't be, because then it would be Sonic the Hedgehog. Shit!